Thanks for mezzing around. Vampire Survivor's Beswick 116 is easy breezy, whipping it easy. Time for Her Royal Highness to complete some more Beswick. Rose is going over to Capella Magna. I really should have checked to make sure that was the state she was going to first. Da, 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 da. Yep, she got Gallo Tower last time, so it's Capella Magna to move on. Yep, this isn't going to be hard. Over, it appears on the map so I can get something else. Racer makes it go out further so I can grab that. Horse box. Ah, yes. You. Let's start stacking the Boogaloo as soon as possible. Nope, it's going to be Empty Tome. Racer. I'm looking right at it and I still can't remember. I can't remember to work. Eh, I memorized it three times. Crown is on the map. Gimme, give gimme give chest, gimme. Anyway, Rose Dan Furnace, Director's Daughter. This will not be hard at all. A ton of enemies for a ton of fun. And Wafuwalu. Gotta get that beaver power going. anything does hurt her, I can just heal up with it. Even Capel Magna can't do that much against it. Alright, there's Duplicator, so after I grab Racer and Empty Tome, I will be moving up to claim other stuff. Spellbinder does affect it. You know, there's those little after image mean, shocks there that show up. Probably get crowned first for the levels. Since it is Capella Magna getting spinach early, so I don't fall behind the damage curve. It's a good thing to do. So Toronis box as well. So we can keep that going. Wow, multiple duplicators. Before I see empty tome once. There you are. I saw a brace here and I didn't pick it up, didn't I? Bye bye boss. That was a bit risky. There's five on it. Get into a danger zone. I'm gonna pick up Slash and then Arcana Awake for the last one. She shouldn't have any difficulties till that late, if any difficulties at all. Was that a rosary? Might have been. Next bracer, and now I can pick up Duplicator and start my run up. Uh, yeah, the tag there, it's more efficient to do it like that. I don't need the Ulu Gorian. It is not helpful for her. Well, for this weapon. Just easy breezy, whipping easy. Probably not a very good one, considering I went easy into easy at the end. But my prowess is in the written word and being slow, not an off-the-cuff stuff. And yet my descriptions are still not exactly enthralling, eh? Well, most people don't read the descriptions or comments anyway. I mean, I'll read any comment you write, and I'll probably respond, unless it's something really... Well, I won't say empty, but... Sometimes there's just nothing I can think of to respond with. I should probably thumbs up it, just to make sure the person knows I read it. Hmm. So that maybe that could be you one day. Maybe it's today, maybe it's tomorrow, maybe it's a million years from now. Which would be really weird if it's the last one. 
but hey, who knows how the world works. Plenty of people know how the world works. We're not going to live a million years. In the year 2000. Remember when that was the future? Hey, it's possible you don't. Oh, crap. No, oh, that's bad. Got blocked by my attack. I really should not have done that. At least I have the tier G so on the back end to compensate for it. <laughs> no vampires on her. Pretty easy character overall, very strong, gets a ton of levels because of her passive, and you're not going to break through wall to wall. It's a double evolution for a reason. Having it based is just incredible. If I hadn't been such a dink right there, I would have had no trouble just surviving this without losing anything. Oops. Huh. Wasn't City Atlantean the one that spawned in later? Pushing it back. No, it's a combination of being hit that much and the mobs getting in the way. I'm wasting too much time. That could have been very bad. I need to banish Torona's box. These white gems should do it. Yep. Hey, another triple. That easily could have been knocking me up the curse zone. There's my level storm. Alright, I have Cerebonne of healing, too. I could avoid grabbing a wake, since I have both Slash and Cerebonne to pick up. That wave of destruction up there. So Dex put out a video about her, and yeah, definitely Fuwal. Well, I guess it was less about her and more of Fuwal Fuwalu getting its area totally nerfed, which makes sense because boy, is this not the screen clearing monster it was once upon a time. It's still ridiculously strong, but well, once in the far flung reaches of the past, this could have been taking up the whole screen. Oops. Well, Sarah Bondi would have been safer, but I guess it's slashing time. We'll be cutting our way through. Power up the whip. Well, two whips combined in one weird looking ball of whips. What even is that icon supposed to be? Everything else is pretty dang clear. Hey, it's a lightning ring. Hey, it's a bottle of holy water. Hey, it's a bottle of Santa water. This is some sort of cake. And this is a crown. You wouldn't guess something called a crown is a crown, but you know what Ponkle is? Wacky, that kind of thing. just some weird big ball of whip. Which is exactly what you want, not want a whip to do, right? Like being a giant ball. You want to be nice and curled so you can Indiana it. The, the state, not the character from the Indiana Jones movies. Man, those rings are far away. Hell Magna is deceptively big. I think it's probably because it's got the most intricate terrain outside of the DLC maps. 
since there's actually, you know, something here. Ooh. Oh, hey, crown. Yeah, it's gonna go slow going. But there's one thing that's, well, less of a strength is that you don't have much direct clearing for your top or bottom. Wait, did I take damage? That can't be right. Even the combination of blue, blue candle ever to work for this box and eventually silver ring isn't going to make it that big, so you're always going to have some problems there. Obviously, the pulse effects from Sarah Bonde and the whip itself, whips itself, will do some stuff for you. But not as bad as, say, Corelo, where you're just super screwed no matter what you do. Nothing is as bad as Corelo. I think I've proven that multiple times now. Also that I'm bad at video games. So if you're good at video games, leave a comment below. Or heck, if you like Kralo, leave a comment below. I always want to see if someone can pull off something I think is bad is something good. I mean, there's got to be some way to do it right, right? Man, I just can't really think of it. It's not a weapon with a lot of strengths compared to literally anything else. Yeah. Maybe once it gets its anima evolution, it'll be a real beat stick. Alright, now it is just inferior to any other option you're gonna have, like ever. Oh, wow, you're. You got a curse speed boost somehow. How did that happen? You're definitely moving faster. <laughs> Attacking them so fast, even the Atlantans are getting knocked back. That's pretty nice. Well, I am pretty safe, especially from whatever direction. Oh. Guess I'm not so safe. I guess Crab Battle saved me in the end. Definitely gonna pick up some Sarah Bonde. Hey, no. These sub-20 waves are getting in this badly. Uh oh I'm gonna need a wake. Wait. I know what I can do. I can go right. Yeah, they can't survive my main thrust. It's if I stay still that they're gonna have an access point. Then as long as I'm moving, I can just heal up as long as I don't run into any Atlanteans or anything. And I should be secure enough on my flanks. Man, only 47. Well, once I run into a vacuum or something, it's going to be going off. Con eyeball? Oh. Well, this is really risky, but I'm gonna do it. Oh, hey, chickens. Fun of chickens. So I don't have my stuff maxed out. That's kind of odd. Oh, Oral Guardian. Orologian. Well, those chests will fix up some of this, at least. Silver ring maxed out, don't need the other one. And the pulse of healing is doing its business. It's big enough to hit the whole screen at least. Really hard to get gym and stuff though. Alright, if I just keep holding right, I should just be able to walk my way through to victory. Because between the Sarabande and the Fuafu Wafu, that means nothing can really get in on me on the back end. And the biggest danger will be things in front of me running into me because we're currently colliding at each other. But that'll take it out with its incredible damage potential and very strong knockback. Oh, right. Atlanteans could also, you know, run into me. That would hurt a lot. I'm just gonna just. 
Oh, there's the other golden egg. And since this is a plat... Plat, plat... Oh! Okay, since this carpet loops forever, I can just hold the left or the right. I don't have to worry about, worry about terrain like I would in a lot of other levels. Even the inlaid library has that piano section in the middle. Hey, NFT. Now yeah, it's even more dangerous up front. Hey, here's my chicken surprise again. Honestly, the biggest problem is, is that I might just run into a boss that's caught behind something, behind the blurry attack. I won't be able to notice it till it takes down my life bar and I lose one of my revives. Generally not something you think about losing and compel a magnet to. Usually it's the giant death waves at the end. And death. Oh, hey, Clover Wave. Nice. Yeah, there's my big old level up storm. I ran into that. Don't you fake me out, game. There we go. That's a nice let chunk of levels right there. And yet, I'm still gonna not hit 100. With double enemy spawns. Well, at least it's taking up most of the screen now. So that was a good thing. Well, it's mostly a good thing to level up. Play by angel things. Where are you even going? Are they... What's going on with the spawns? There's no way they're getting destroyed before they get on screen. It's almost like I got no curse or charm or even basic. Well, I guess less basic and more her innate decrease increase in enemies. Yeah, this is like it would be on like a normal run. Completely bog standard normal run. Now I wonder if I've improved enough to just go through without any power-ups. And I would include, you know, curse in that. Alright, some of the trouble with like an early Antonio Mad Forest thing would be like, you know, like, you know, uh, the thing you know. Just not having access to the full inventory of equipment. Oh, hi, Death. Oh, you brought your groupies, eh? I'm one of them sometimes. Well, that's rows one down. Steady up for rows two. Okay, here we go. Some more Rosen. Ah, oh, Moonglow. Nothing to it. I guess I could get Tronus Box by the next level here ever anyway. Uh, just grab everything and keep on keeping it on. I wonder if I'll be able to get the full length around. Probably not, but make that a goal. Oh, I should really change this to like some sort. You know, if I'd probably just name the playlist challenge or something, I'd probably get so many more views. I don't know what it is about the world ch word challenge, but hey, it apparently gets people reeling. Eh, who do I care? I totally watch challenge videos. Beat New Vegas without killing anybody? Easy. Beat New Vegas without killing anybody while joining the Legion? Oh, now that's a spicy meatball. And it is totally possible. Because I have done it. I should probably do a video on that, huh? Da -da 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 -da. Man, I should probably do it on the Xbox so I can say 100% of the game on three different systems. PC, PS3, and now the Xbox ecosystem. 
Oh yeah. I think that'll be my most platinum game ever. Well, considering I've only purchased Dark Souls on multiple platforms. Oh yeah, and I got Skyrim as well. Oh, I guess I didn't purchase Skyrim. It's game passing, but I game pass New Vegas too. But I've got plenty of other stuff to do first. There's Unicorn Overlord. Go watch that playlist if you want some tactical RPG action. And me going really, really dumb trying to get through the Coliseum. Who cares if they're twice my level? I can take them after enough RNG lucking. Speaking of RNG, Vampire Survivors does have it. And I'm going to have to get rid of it if I want to do my third wave thing. Look, it's Moon Glow. There's not much going on here. I just go through, whip stuff good with Qualify Walu. It's a good time to talk about planning for the future. And my random other stuff, like as per usual. This is a game that has a lot of dead air. You know, Final Fantasy Rebirth, less dead air. Even Holokir has less dead air. That's probably because I was more ignorant, less knowledgeable, less knowledgeable about what's going on, so I would always have something to say on. Also, you get far less powerful in that game, so there's always tension, even if you try and build for super stats, you just aren't going to get to get the, clear, get the screen clearing nonsense you can get here. Like, even base Rose is stronger than some of the characters there. Just because Fualfawalu is that dang good. I wonder if the more characters are going to have like more unique things like CO2 and many of stuff in the future. Then again, Vampire Survivor's beauty is sort of in the simplicity as well. You don't need to worry about 17 different things. Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 40, 15, 16. Only 16 different things. Oh, I forgot to hit the merchant for my second arcana, didn't I? Oh well, it's moving low. Like, you might actually die here on Mike and Il Maurice. But, hey. Not likely to. Like, the weird plant wave is about the only one that will actually do anything, or the crabs if you're, well, snaking around. Oh, is that why there's snakes here? I mean, I really, really doubt it. It's like an obscure video. Then again, that Robert isn't exactly top of the pop culture zygast at the moment, either. And heck, you got Fuwafu Wallow and Soul Eater. Well, I mean, Brave Story is pretty. Basically. And Final Fantasy VII's back bigger than ever. And with more tech troubles than ever. <laughs> How the heck is the third game even gonna function? Oh, hey, I was right next to the ring. I didn't overshoot it too badly. Hey, I might actually make it. That's just the power of a good, strong weapon, and a not exactly terrible bonus. Okay, a level storm. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to max out my passives, is it? Oh, I, didn't, I just... Why did I discard it? I wasn't going to be able to level up enough to get it. Uh, now, now that I think about it, there's no way you can actually get all the pat. He's there. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I guess there is through endless and random events. You could get every passive. I could count on it happening, but you could do it. Incidentally, Academy Badge doesn't have anything it evolves with. Murdo's as Kizabur is evolved with armor, and Claythra's Clash Arrow is Bracer and Clover. Huh. 
Eleanor just goes fall three weapons into a fusion evolution. Nope, I re-rolled that for some reason. And Moonglow's map continues to be super deceptive. Yeah, this is the hardest wave, and as long as I don't run into any Atlanteans, which is always a hard ask, it won't be a problem getting around it. Oh wait, did one of them go down? When did that happen? I'm getting awake because I don't want to reroll. Too lazy at the moment. Huh. Nope, nope, there's City of Atlantean. Don't want to stay still, don't want to lose my damage bonus. Well, granted, it's possible it's gone away anyway. Who knows? I should probably go to Merchant, but there's no way I'm making it over to him in less than a minute. Can Labrador, do your thing. Light up the darkness. Hey, one of them's down. I wonder if switching sides affects it. Uh oh. Oh, and I think about it, I could have gone Chaos in the Dark Knight. One of the few times you can actually use it without, you know, it being strangely detrimental. You know, I think about it, could have gone that with the Mask of the Red Death or Random as well. In fact, it probably would have been better to do it as random to lean into what he does. It does. As randomness. I know, but I had to show sign old sanctuary off. Like, maybe I'll do that for the next wave, part of the third wave. Good reason to do it, too. Will I get down any more Atlanteans? Probably be better just to sit still. Yep, we got one down, two down. Three down. Can I get the big papa? Oh wow, what? Oops, meant to revive. Why didn't my... Well, there's Rose's runs done. Next up is gonna be... Oh, Scrojoni, last of the base game stuff. See ya? Well, never probably It'd be really creepy if I did see ya. Thanks for watching, though. And with some pretty good ease, Rose has claimed us up to the 160 range on the Beswick. No, nope, that's not the right move. Dang, Melissa, I need to take that out sooner rather than later. Hi, thanks for watching. Leave a comment if you enjoyed it or the run in the entirety. A dislike if you didn't. A comment if there's any builds you want me to throw around, I will respond to it. And give a subscription if you want to support the channel. Have a good day and keep messing around.